Hello, I'm Yvette and I'm the Latino Outreach Coordinator at Side Street Studio Arts. I also teach uh, Small Wonders and Make Stuff Saturdays and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a book cover to a handmade sketchbook. Uh, this is actually not a sketchbook, it's a, it's a planner. It's my first time making a planner. Yeah, I think journals and sketchbooks or planners are very important to anyone. I think it's even more unique and it shows more of your personality when you create your own. Here are the materials that I'll be using. I would recommend that you pause the video so that you can gather them up. Some materials you can replace. For example, the PVA glue that I use, you can use Elmer's glue. I also use red cardstock paper for the covers, but you can use any paper that you'd like. You can even draw on it and make your own design. This is going to be the outside cover. This brown book cloth that I use, you can use thicker cardstock paper. Uh, this is just going to be for the spine. This is my book that I put together. It's actually a planner. Uh, I've already got it ready to go and the first thing that you need to start doing is to measure the covers. Uh, you want them to be a little bigger than your inside pages. Uh, mine ended up being about five and a half by nine and a quarter. Uh, so you just want to measure them out and cut them out using a box cutter. You also want to measure the spine to be the same width as the spine of your book that will be inside. I think mine was about uh, three quarters of an inch. Soundstripe. So once you have everything cut out, you just want to Put it all to the side and the next thing that we're going to work on is to reinforce the spine. You can add a little bit of water to your glue and this will make it a little easier to apply. Um, you want to cut up some tissue paper that would be uh, big enough to go over the spine by about two inches on each side. And then you want to cut up some cardstock that is the same width as the width of your spine. So about three quarters of an inch for me. I'm going to use these blocks to hold my book in place as I'm gluing things down. I apply some glue from the bottle and then I apply some glue that I've mixed up with water. I'm going to use this ribbon as a bookmark so I'm just going to glue it on top of the tissue paper and in between the cardstock. Uh, and I also use a bone folder just to uh, really press down and get into the creases. Once you've done that, you want to bring back your spine and your front and back covers. And I like to make my spine about like three inches wide so that it goes on each side about an inch and a half. You just want to trim it down so that you're not working with the piece that's too long. Right now I'm going to go ahead and trim down the covers. I wanted mine to be a little shorter so I'm just going to trim them down a little bit more. This material can actually, I actually got it from the back of a large drawing pad. So if you have like a notebook lying around, you can just use the back cover of that to make, to make the spine and the covers. You just want to glue down the spine to the middle of your book cloth and measure about a quarter of an inch on each side. That will be where your, where your front and back cover will be glued. So I'm using this uh, scrap sheet of paper to keep the glue from going on my cutting mat. It's just a good way to like keep the glue from spreading everywhere.
Once you glued them down, uh, turn it over and use a bone folder to really get into the creases and break the fibers of the book cloth in there. And then you're going to turn it around and glue the inside of it down. Sounds dry. My book actually was a little too big for it, so I went ahead and just trimmed the edges of the page. Uh, you can just do this by putting a ruler to the edge and just cutting off the excess. The next step in this is to uh, add your covers, and I'm going to use this red paper. You can trim it down if you need to. But pretty much we're going to do the same thing that we did with the spine. Uh, you're going to line it up to where you want, want it to be glued and you want to leave some excess so you can fold it around the cover. Uh, so about an inch on each side all around. Go ahead and apply the glue to the outside cover and then apply the red paper down. You want to just uh, cut off like excess and cut like a square uh, on the in, on each corner, so that when you fold it over, it doesn't overlap. So you want to put your pages inside, make sure that you like how they fit. If you do, then the next step is to just kind of add a drop of glue on the tissue paper and line it up so that you have it where they want to be. And insert a scrap sheet of paper into the last page so that your glue doesn't uh, bleed into the other pages. Then you're just going to fold down the cover and glue the outside page to it. You're going to do the same thing to both sides. Sounds dry. After you've glued your book down, you just want to lay it underneath some other books, some uh, weight, and just let it dry for at least a day before you open it up and start using it. And there you have it. That's how you add a cover to your book.